Hello, good morning, students. Children, we are going to do homophones. As you know, we have already done homophones are the words that have different spellings, different meanings, but same sound. When we pronounce the words, they have the same sound, but they have different spellings and different meanings. Okay? So, some words are given. We have already done homophones and a list of words. Here in your course book, and it is in page number 100, you have to write the homophone of these words, the words given in this uh, in your page number 100. And it is only six words are given, and you have to write the homophone of these words. The first one is A T E, eight. Uh, don't say at. This is eight. Eight. Now, what is the other word which has the same sound but different spelling and different meaning? Yes, it is number 8. Number 8. So, 8, E-I-G-H-T and A-T-E-8. They both have same sound but 8 is the past tense. A-T-E-8 is the past tense of eat. I have uh, or I ate uh, puris yesterday and E-I-G-H-T. I ate Eight puris yesterday. Okay, so it is E I G H T. Children, coming to the second one, N I G H T night. N I G H T night is the night means day opposite night. At night we sleep. Okay, at night we can see the moon. Okay, so what is another word which has the same sound but different spelling? different meaning that is night k n i g h t okay and that k is silent it is pronounced as night nights are actually people who were working in the capacity of military you know military personnel who were given this title night and especially it is done in the english countries in england they were given the title night and they were military personnel working for the king uh, for protecting his kingdom. Okay, so K N I G H T. These are the title. Title, you understand? Some honorary title is given to people. K N I G H T night because K is silent and N I G H T night. Night means the other part of the day. And uh, night here means those military personnel who are given the title. F A R E fair. F A R E fair means the you give the fare when you go in a bus or when you have taken a ride in an auto rickshaw. You give the fare. F A R E, which is the other one? F A I R fair. Fair you can say the complexion of the uh, your, of a person, skin color. Or fair means I have done fairly well. It's okay, means you have done quite good. How have you performed in the examination? It was fair. Okay, so F A I R. F A I R, fair. And F A R, fair, same sound, but as you can see, F A R, fair has a different spelling. F A I R has different spelling. This means when you pay the uh, price for going in a, in a vehicle. This is the fair, it is okay, good. Okay, Number four is S I G H T sight. The sight, I have seen something. When you see something, sight, uh, eyesight, you can say, when you see something. Another one is S I T E sight. Sight is the place. The construction site, the children are playing with the stones in the construction site. That is the place. Site. Uh, it was a beautiful site. I have seen something very beautiful. Okay, similar. Five. Number five is S A N E S A. That when you go for uh, shopping, you will see that uh, there is a tag hanging that the ten percent sale or fifteen percent sale. Okay. When you when somebody sells something, it is sale. You can see you know, selling something. Okay. And another one. S A I L S A. Sail is the when a boat they have a mast and that helps them to uh, you know move the help of the wind. This is the sail. S A I L S A. Okay. So I write here S A 